Ocelot API Gateway. So let's understand what is Ocelot API Gateway because we are going to use here Ocelot API Gateway for integrating our API. So when you're talking about the Ocelot API Gateway, it is an open source API Gateway for .NET platform. So if you are building the microservices using the .NET platform, so there Ocelot API Gateway will help you. So it is a lightweight and run on the platform that supports ASP.NET Core. So actually Ocelot API Gateway is based upon the ASP.NET Core. So wherever you can run the ASP.NET Core, there you can integrate the Ocelot API Gateway. The Ocelot API Gateway provides all the necessary features for building an API. So what are the features are required? for an API Gateway, all the necessary features the Ocelot API Gateway providing to us. Ocelot API Gateway also used by the Microsoft for their projects. And apart from the Microsoft, there are so many companies which are using the Ocelot API Gateway for building their microservices because it is free and open source API Gateway. So don't need to worry about to have the license fee and to use the Microsoft Azure account anywhere you can use it so this is about the ocelot api gateway you should know so here also we are going to use the same thing integrating ocelot api gateway so let's see how we can integrate the ocelot api gateway with our user microservice so we already having the solution so there we need to add a one more project for the api gateway so i'm adding here a new project again add new project at this time also you need to select the ASP.NET Core web application because the Ocelot API gateway is based upon the ASP.NET Core same thing I'm selecting again define the application name let's say API gateway click on the create button at this time using here the empty project because in the Ocelot API Gateway, we will configure the things by ourselves. And make sure you have selected the framework as ASP.NET Core 3.1. I'm not configuring it for HTTPS. I'm using only HTTP. Now click on the Create button. So it's added a empty ASP.NET Core application. Now here, to integrate the Ocelot API Gateway, we need to download the NuGet packages. So go to the manage new get packages and then make a search for the Ocelot API gateway. Ocelot. So you can see here I'm getting here the Ocelot API gateway new get package which you need to install at your machine. So I'm installing at the project label here, not at the machine label. So this is the API gateway I selected, now install it. Then accept the license. So now we need to configure this Ocelot API Gateway at this project level. Now we need to define the configuration at the API Gateway level. So in the Ocelot API Gateway, we need to add here a JSON file. I'm adding here a JSON file. So let me add a new item here. And this time make sure you're adding here a JSON file. So this is a JSON file I'm adding here. Make sure the file name is here Ocelot. Need the fix file name. I'm using here Ocelot as per the AP gateway setting. And here we need to define the routing for all the microservices. So here in the solution we are having only one microservice. So I'm defining here the routing only for one microservice. So I'm using here the option reroutes because routing is already there for each microservice. Here we are just rerouting the microservices because now the microservices would be accessed through the API gateway only because we will not expose the microservices directly to the client. The client would always interact with the API gateway. So now let's reroute the things. So reroutes. Then in the array we can define our, all microservices route over here. So here as per the Oscillate API Gateway, we need to define here the downstream path template. Downstream path template. Now define here which API you are willing to call. 
so i'm willing to call here the my user api so i'm using here user and there we are having the ap also as a prefix i'm using here api slash user because this is the way i define the template now define the downstream scheme also like what is the protocol you are using over there so make sure it is downstream now define here downstream downstream scheme so i'm using here downstream scheme so downstream scheme so we are using a http protocol i mentioned over here now defined here the downstream host and the port so right now we are running the application on local host so i mentioned here local host but whenever you will deploy it to a public ip you can mention that public ip over there so i'm mentioning here downstream host and ports so downstream host and ports so here i'm using an array because it can be the case your microservice instance can be hosted at multiple location so there can be the multiple uh, the instance where your microservices might be hosted so i'm using here the host host would be here local host as per the current solution it is an object type so let me mention a proper object this way and then i'm mentioning a port number also so what is the port where my application any so through the postman i can find out so this is a port number here because we already tested the api through the postman so this is the routing we have defined for our user microservice now we need to access this api through the api gateway so in the api gateway we need to define here upstream path template so now this path template you can change at the api gateway level so that is here upstream path template upstream path template now how now how you want to access this i want to access this here only using let's say user i'm not mentioning here an api similar way upstream scheme in this routing setting we can also define the http protocol methods also like what the methods you want to allow to access this url so i'm just using here upstream http method so i'm just willing to allow only get request http method so i'm mentioning here the method name as get only if you want to allow the post method also so separated by comma you can mention the post put and delete also so only one method i'm just willing to apply get here so this is the way we have defined the root for our user microservice same way you can define the root for other microservice as well separated by comma but as per the current solution we are having only one microservice so it's fine now we need to tell this json file to the asp.net core application so through the program.cs file i can define this configuration file using the option here dot configure app configuration so there is a method here configure app configuration and here i can define the hosting context comma config now at the json file so what i'm adding here config dot add json file and just pass your json file name it is oc load dot json so this is the file we have mentioned over here so this is the way how you need to configure your oc load json file at program.cs file i need to define a setting in the startup.cs file also so here in the configure service method make sure you have added the middleware for oc load so i'm adding here services then add oc load add the missing name is space that is oscillot dot dependency injection and here also 
we don't need to pass here the default one let's say hello world here we will define a default endpoint so it would be here endpoint dot map controller because we are creating it for the api controller now here let's define the setting for the oscillot and it should be here app dot use oscillot and this is a asynchronous call so make sure you are making the method as async async and just do mention here await this way and the missing name is space also oscillate middleware so this way we have configured the things at a startup class also we have configured the thing in program.cs file also and we have defined the routing as oc load json file also so now try to run the code to check how it is working so let me click on the run button so if you will see here i'm getting here for node 4 error because we are not requesting the proper url let me try to request the proper url shilas user but again see i'm getting here http error 500 why i'm getting this error the reason is here i'm a, i'm willing to access an api which is actually not available so what you need to do here when you are running the api gateway in your local machine so make sure your user microservice is also running so let's do right click at the solution label go to the properties and there is option here multiple startup project so make sure you have selected the start option for api gateway and start option for user service also now click on the ok so now let's run the code and i'm sure it should work fine now because user service is also running and api gateway is also running so this is my api gateway now let's try to exit the user now you can see i'm getting the data here properly so this is the way how we define here the oc load api gateway and with the help of rerouting we are able to call the user microservice here so we have successfully set up our oc load api gateway here testing microservice using postman so let's see how we can use the postman for testing our api so what i'm doing here so we already created our microservice and even we added the api gateway also so now if you will see here in your user service in the user service we are having here the various action we are having here the action for returning all users we are having an action for returning a single user but here it is accepting here one extra parameter id but in case of post it is not accepting any parameter here so it can use the same url api slash user and so this one is also api slash user and if you will see this one is also api slash user but it is a get request so method this method and this method having the same url but worm name are here get and the post but if you will see here in this method the url is different so in the oc load dot json file what we can do here here we can also mention post method because the post method also having the same url but for this one like third one we need to define here a parameter based root so what i'm doing here i'm defining here a uh, one more root here with parameter so this time it would be here user slash and then id and make sure here also you are accepting the id parameter and just restrict it for only get request this way so this is the way we define here the routing for other methods also let's test it i'm running the code so when you are running the code it's actually running both the services this is the user service and this is my api gateway so here i can access it here using user for returning all the users here for getting a user based upon the user id i am accessing one it's returning to me perfectly 
but using the browser I cannot make the post request so for this one let's use the postman so this time using here postman for making the post request this is the way and I'm willing to add a new user here so already the data is populated because we use the postman for testing our user service separately same data I am using here again for testing it with the help of API gateway so this time URL is different and here I'm willing to add a one more user let's say Rama it's Delhi and let's do few changes in the contact label let's say one zero if it is making the post request correctly it should add a new user with the name Rama let's click on the send button and make the post request it's working fine it it is returning to us 201 if you want to verify it let's make the get request here this time to verify everything working fine so I'm using here get request using the IP gateway and you can see we are having three user Mohan Krishna and Rama so in this way our API gateway is responding properly so this is the way how we created here a simple microservice using the ace.net core and the OC load API gateway and here this JSON file name can be anything it is not mandatory like file name should be seen because what are the file name you will mention over here you need to mention in your API gateway program.cs file so here we have mentioned the things so in this course you learned about how you can create a microservice using the ace.net core and oscillate api gateway